Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kenji Nicole here. If you're new and if you're returning, it's always nice to see you guys. First of all, happy holidays. That's why I have the, you know, my little silky satin PJs on for you guys. Um, this video is finally going up. It is, it has been highly requested um, on an update on products that I've used in the past. Um, you know, so I'm just going to give it to you guys straight up. So let's get into it. What is the product that I'm talking about today? So I'm going to be talking about the, what is this called? OGX Biotin and Collagen Shampoo and Conditioner. So that's what the video is about. I did a video like, I think a year ago on um, me using it and what I liked about it and how it's been going for me. In July of 2021, um, it could have been even before this a little bit, but um, the article I read came out in July of 2021, if I'm not mistaken, about allegations towards the brand um, causing hair loss and scalp irritation to users that were purchasing this brand. Um, not only this line, like not only the biotin collagen, but like the other um, brands that they have, they were, you know, going through it with it so I'm making so a lot of people went on that video that I made previously asking me like oh well what do you think how has it been going for you Ray Tay Tay so I'm here to just speak on my opinion give you guys a little bit of you know why there's been complaints and then we're just gonna move forward to other things on my channel so I started why did I start using this brand so I started using this brand actually no recap rewind rewind so how did i start using this brand basically i was in the grocery store so the brand is sold at hair stores drug stores grocery stores it's there you're gonna see it on the shelf it's there in like the beauty section shampoo and conditioner section it's there Basically, I was doing my groceries, and um, in the grocery store that we have, you know, there's like a different section, and I like to go through there, here and there, especially look for like hair stuff, like, ooh, what's new, what can I try, what can I waste my money on, and you know, I do have shampoo and conditioners at home, but <laughs> let's keep adding to the stash that we don't already use, right? Okay, so I saw this brand, and I told you guys in many videos, even my recent video that my hair is you know pretty thin especially on my right side is very visible in pictures and shit i'm just like oh like give me a break bro so pretty much i saw this brand oh who's calling me oh hold on i'm fucking weak hello good night how are you okay like you have your friends there too <laughs> good night merry christmas merry christmas Okay, so I'm not sure where I left off at, but basically, um, how I got onto this product was when I was doing my grocery shopping. Um, so I love to go into like the beauty aisles, of course, wherever I am, if there's a beauty aisle, like I'm walking through it. And I buck up on this, and especially this brand, cause I was just like, ooh, biotin and collagen for thick hair, um, for thick and full hair correction. And like I mentioned before, my hair is pretty thin on my right side and it kind of got thinner um, a while back. So I'm like, okay, let me try it out. So I've been trying it out, which is why um, I post up a video reviewing it. And for me personally, I must say that I do see um, a difference where um, like over here on top of my head is really like I find it to be pretty thick and as well as the conditioner, which one is the conditioner? Yeah, the conditioner. Honey, when I tell you when I use this conditioner through my hair and it combs through it, for me, it doesn't even have to be the Dem Demnem brush, Demmin brush, you know what I'm talking about? It could be my Y2 comb or whatever it is and like it goes through so easily so easily and um i actually instantly saw a difference with um hair loss prior to using this brand i was using i don't even know but it was a different brand 
and I basically like my hair will fall out in chunks to the part where like I was kind of nervous I was like yo like is there like an underlying issue that I have and I don't know about this yet um it was really it was really creepy but um that also happened too when I didn't wash my hair actually no wait so yeah, that would happen a lot like I would wash my hair um before washing my hair during like throughout like before washing my hair, while washing my hair, you know, you comb your hair with the conditioner still in it. And then after um, I rinse it out and I'm like braiding my braids or whatever hairstyle, a lot of hair would fall out of my hair. So when I started using this, instantly I saw, okay, for one, the conditioner goes through my hair like silk, okay? It's like silk on the skin. It just like, oof, yeah, it feels nice, smells nice, combs through nice. Secondly, I realized um, from the first wash, obviously prior to using the product that day, my hair, you know, combing it out, a lot fell out. But using the product and combing it while the product was in, I realized like, oh wow, like not as much is falling out as I'm accustomed to. And then after, you know, post wash, I saw the same results. And then on my next wash day, you know, it'd be the same thing where not a lot of hair would be falling out. Now. My hair would still fall, fall out in chunks if I went weeks and without washing my hair when I was like a nasty gal, you know, when I would choose to be a nasty gal. But besides that, this really worked well for me, okay? Um, the only con I would say for me personally is that I did start realizing, I hope my titties ain't showing. Okay, I did start realizing that my scalp was becoming dry like it would start to be looking like flaky and I'm just like no that's not cute and that could be I really feel it's because of this line like I really feel I really feel that it started to become an issue or I started to realize it after using this line and it could be for other reasons as well or it could be for other reasons as well as linked with this so that's when I started to use it I told you guys why I started to use it because like I said my hair was my hair is like really thinner on one side of my head um, where I got it at the grocery store and why also why I'm doing this update is because recently um, Johnson & Johnson which bought the company OGX which was called organics when it first came out in 2006 by Todd Christopher he was the owner of Vogue International organics or OGX um, but then they had switched the name to OGX because, you know, they they pretty much had like a lawsuit or something against them. Like it was like falsely advertised because like their ingredients are not fully and wholly organic. So they changed it to OGX, which was then later bought by Johnson & Johnson. Now, um, Johnson & Johnson, <coughs> I believe this year or 2020, um, a woman, she came out um, with a lawsuit against them, a class act, a class act lawsuit, if I'm using the proper terms, um, stating that you know using their products, um, she has ex she experienced hair loss and um, irritation to her scalp. So basically, when she came out, when she um, blowed her whistle, other people came forth as well with their whistles, and you know they made the statement that you know they've been realizing the same thing after using this product. And then Johnson & Johnson came forth and said, hey guys, like, yes, um, you know, try to like, you know, do some damage control over their products because these products really sell, like they really sell, like they're considered like really great products and they're also like a really great price and you can find them like anywhere. So they obviously, you know, did some damage control or tried, or tried to do some damage control to save face um, because they, you know, they get a lot of sales with this. Um, so now going into like looking into what causes these issues for people who use it and you know why it's a problem for some people is because it contains an ingredient called DM, DMMD, oh, hold on because I cannot say the same or she, hold on, hold up, I got it, I got it, nope, we're not on, hold on, wait, 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 oh. What is it? DM, DM, MD, DM, DM. Okay, so it's called DM, DM, high dentoin. I may be mispronouncing this name. I am not the chemist that came up with it, okay? 
but that's the ingredient that um, is said to cause these issues in the scalps of people who, of a lot of people who came forward that use this brand. Now, DMDM is a anti-micro, micro, micro blah, 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 is a antimicrobial that is used in products like shampoos, conditioners, and beauty, like anything of beauty, called like cosmetic beauty, um, to preserve the shelf life of these products. So it's um it's used to fresh in the case of like the shampoo and conditioners, basically it's there. So you know when you leave it in your shower, which most of us we leave it, we leave our shampoos and conditioners in our bathrooms. Um, it preserves it from creating mold and fungus and all that icky icky shit um, from growing in the product. Now um, Johnson and Johnson they came forth and they had stated that they it's been years that they don't use the MDM high dose. Y'all know what I'm saying. They don't use that um, ingredient in their products anymore. And if they do use it, they use a small, little, 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 little amount in their products if they cannot find um, an alternative that you know meshes well with what they're trying to um, pr produce and sell on the shelves. So you know that's kind of like the backlash that they've been receiving and you know it's, it was shared all over social media like every two seconds you'll see someone with the with the poll stating like don't use it da, 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 da. like you know um it's also also another thing you know which raises concern to a lot of people when using these products is that i read up that dmdm blah blah blah, blah. um it's also like it can, it's also a um carcinogen so, you know, that's another reason why people don't want to use this because it formulates a formu hyalidate, hy hyalidate that forms cancer and all that non-great shit. So people are kind of skeptical about using the, the product. Um, for me personally, like I keep saying, for me personally, I did see positive, posit like positive, um, results from using it the only one con like i said that i had was dry scalp um i guess that can go into the category of um irritating of um irritation of the scalp because you know like i never had that problem before but now i do so as for the people that came forward um stating that they that they've gone through this by using these products i do hope like johnson and johnson can you know um like not deflect or try to like you know brush it under the rug and like tie it up with a bowl like i really hope that you know these people can be i don't know something that something can be done for them because as we know for like either sex man or woman um however you identify your hair is one of the first things that you feel confident confident about that other people see first you know it's, it's like your your face your hair your teeth your smile like these are like what you owe like these are what we always like to keep intact and on point and in check like hands down unless you don't give up mm, you are if like if you do majority of people like they we care about our hair our smile um how we look you know we want to always want to look presentable and this also helps with how we feel about ourselves our self-esteem our confidence so you know the fact you know losing hair is very it can really it can it can make you feel bad about yourself it can make you you know want to hide or make you not want to really be around people or you know like it can really affect your self-esteem and your confidence so i do hope that something can be done for people who are affected um by this brand um, I do hope that something can be done for them more than what is ex more than more than the, more than the more than the bare minimum. Like honestly, I really do hope that you know they, something can be done for them. Um, as for me, Johnson and Johnson, run me my check. Run me my check. <laughs> these are two unsponsored videos that I'm putting up about these products, and I am bashing y'all yet. I'm speaking about my experience, and I'm speaking about what's been going on in the media with um the recent um with the recent lawsuit that they've been facing um i feel like it's still an ongoing issue i haven't um concluded to that part but i can I'll probably like leave that information down in the description box as well as in the comment section and um what else do i want to say what else do i want to say um and also um i recently actually like 
on the bottle it says it's good for 18 months i still have like maybe like this much left like this much left that's how much i've been using it um so it's like it's not like i just use it once and like oh yeah like it didn't do nothing for me like i still have my hair ha 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 like no like i've actually been using it and um it's practically almost done so i've been using it and so far like like i said for me my hair does feel thicker um it does feel fuller um i have i don't the irony is that i actually don't i actually um saw a, a decrease in hair loss so you know a lot of things gonna work for once for some and not work for others it's like if i if i can make this link or correlation it's like peanuts you know like are peanuts bad or are peanuts good? Some people may eat it, they might have a mild um, reaction, they might have a severe reaction, they may, have, they may even, it may even go so far as it being a fatal reaction and that's not that's nothing to joke about. And I feel it could be the same case when it comes to this brand, you know? Some people, like myself, will experience um, um, decrease a decrease in hair loss um, we'll experience you know our hair actually becoming thicker and fuller um, like I said the one con is that I developed dry scalp which you know we're working on it and then there's other people unfortunately that you know experience hair loss experience um, um, skin like irritation to their to their scalp and that's unfortunate is this a good brand is this a bad brand honestly to each their own and it's 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 your experience you know like i'm not gonna tell you buy it and i'm not gonna tell you not to buy it like if you want to try it out do so on your free will not because i said to not because someone else said not to like do it because you want to have your own judgment on something and and yeah like that's that's what i would say like i'm gonna give it my own my own judgment and see from there you know um obviously there's certain things that you know they tell you like yo the soul was hot you're not gonna go and touch it to see if it's hot because you can obviously see that it's red and it's going everyone that touches it it most likely will burn them in this case it's totally different it's not a stove it's it's a product and it's to each their own you know so um with making a decision with your purchase on whatever brand that you're um, looking to purchase for your hair for your skin for whatever it may be always do your research for for sure um or if you're like me you know you just wing it and be like oh pray to god you know cross our fingers god bless you know and we're just gonna try it out and see what happens so yeah um i'm still gonna be using this brand but not as often as i as i do and not because of what's been going on in the media simply because i i, I made a decision like a few months ago that i wanted to go back using um cream of nature and can too um which are the first two natural hair products that i used when i went back to being natural and they were actually like i believe like the first two products that ever came out for like the natural wave so i started i went back to that because i loved how it treated my hair um i love how um i love the length that my hair grew with it so right now i went for the health like the thickness and the fullness of my hair um now i'm going for like the length part but like i said i'll still i'll still be using this in in, in some wash days you know like maybe once a month and um or yeah once a month let's say if i wash my hair twice one of the washes will be using this when it's finished completely will i be buying more again i think i will because like i said like the conditioner is the truth and i may i may only just you be buying the conditioner again because i love how easy for me my comb passes like my brush or my comb passes through my hair once it's in and activated so yeah I think that's all I'm gonna say for right now. Um, it's been long overdue. Y'all, y'all been asking me for this updated video. I had recorded it once before. I don't really like too much how it came out today. I felt I today I was just like, you know what? It's long overdue. Let's get the camera rolling. Let's get this out there, and um, let's update the people them because they've been asking and I've been prolonging and I had no reason to. So here it is hope you guys enjoyed it i gave my fair opinion my personal opinion and my experience using this brand if there's anything else you want to know um ask me or if you want to if i don't respond in time you know google is a big space where you can search up literally anything you want to find out and the answers most likely will be there that's where i found some of my answers to um also incorporate with this video to give you guys um 
a well-balanced video of my opinion and also what's going on in the media so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe you know nowadays i'm begging for the subscribers because sis is trying to get to a hundred a thousand um subscribers and we're on that journey um don't forget to like this video if you liked it and if you didn't talk people food love you goes on and as always boo stay blessed and stay safe see you guys in my next video ciao